One of the things that appears to bother us humans most about artificial intelligence is how it warps our perception of reality. After all, we pride ourselves on knowing what is real and what is not, don't we? If an image of a person sitting at a computer desk while using a mobile phone is presented to us, it immediately looks unreal to us humans due to the number of arms depicted. So we know that this image does not reflect reality. But what if there were only two arms? AI is getting better at generating these images and making it harder to differentiate between a real and a generated image. So this imbalance between two worlds, one real and one unreal, is shifting. And this is all new to us. Or is it? On Halloween night in 1938, there was a radio broadcast called The War of the Worlds, which was based on H.G. Wells' novel of a Martian invasion. This radio drama included simulated news bulletins, breaking news reports and sound effects that made the Martian invasion seem very real. Some of those tuning in late to the drama were convinced this was an actual report of an invasion. And while the extent of the panic later reported to have happened may have been exaggerated, it certainly did cause quite a stir across the USA. It has been reported that the newspapers of the time were keen to define radio, which was a growing conduit for news reporting, as untrustworthy. What cannot be denied is that this radio drama placed a line in the sand between what was real and what was not. But then again, isn't that what drama has always aspired to? We have a whole industry which is dedicated to producing content that depicts unreal people and events. We even give annual awards for the best depictions of unreality. Most of you will have watched movies or films depicting dinosaurs being recreated and running riot, or wizards flying on broomsticks. You'll believe a man can fly. This was the phrase used for adverts for Superman. But the vast majority of people watching the movie, which while entertaining, didn't later try to fly themselves. Disbelief was only temporarily suspended. So there are already a large number of humans employed to depict or create non-reality based content. There are documented cases of actors who have played villains in some drama, receiving abuse and trolling from people who struggle to realise that the actors are only playing a role and the drama is not real. So what has AI brought to the table? Production of fantastical dramas for the small or large screens has always been expensive, as visual effects are expensive to produce in both money and human resources. You only need to watch the credits at the end of a blockbuster film to see just how many people were involved in the creation of non-reality based content. AI driven video production is edging ever closer to the creation of the kinds of non-reality based content that just a few years ago could only be produced by dedicated visual effects companies. True, it isn't quite there yet, but a small group of people can now produce a scene that would have cost hundreds of thousands of dollars and a significantly larger number of humans to work on it, but in a noticeably shorter period of time. Weeks of work can now be compressed down to just a few days. One of the arguments against the use of AI systems for this purpose is that in order to generate images and video, the large language models need to be trained with a huge amount of data. Countless humans will have generated this data, so the AI system derives its content from human generated content. So is the AI content unoriginal? Turning this argument on its head, Human generated content comes from people who have spent their entire lives soaking up content from generations of filmmakers and their own lifespan. 
Humans are, after all, walking, talking, pattern recognition machines. An innovative human filmmaker has not spent their life in isolation to come up with an original idea. They have been influenced and inspired by countless dramas, films and human experiences and their original content is derived from that training data. There is of course more to a successful film than special and visual effects. Some films, while having amazing special effects, don't do well at the box office due to a poor storyline or to poor casting. But with AI, the genie is now well and truly out of the bottle. And filmmaking may never be the same again. Perhaps it will allow smaller, independent films to be produced at a far higher quality and lower cost than they would otherwise be able to. So as the pace of AI-generated video content shows no sign of slowing down, with the regular appearance of new or updated LLMs dedicated to this specific activity, what is likely to happen next? One filmmaking task is the creation of storyboards to help explain or sell an idea for a film and to plan out how it will be made. It's likely that AI will be used to generate these storyboards and rather than just sketches of a scene, it will likely be video clips for each scene. Over time, I see these becoming increasingly detailed and even parts of them being used in the final production. With the ability to clone voices and images of actors, it will become increasingly difficult, if not impossible, to tell when a human actor's scene finishes and the AI actor takes over. What will that do to our perception of reality? However, that's it for today. Thank you for watching.